everybody and their neighbor. Welcome back to Gear and Gigs. I'm your host, Jet Stone. As always, I'm glad that you guys stopped by today for another episode of our world famous Guess the Bass show. And as always, the contestant in the hot seat, the man with the sketchy guesses. <laughs> it's Rich. <laughs> Rich, oh, how you doing? I am sketchy, dude. Um, yes. Uh, I don't have a great track record on this game. Well, you know, what are you, uh, you're one out of... Uh, one for three. One for three, so, you know, one that's not three. so bad. That's so I could so bad. I could get to 50% on this one. You, you Although won't, but my you could, guess <laughs> you could off the bat is that this is going to be way more difficult than the last one. Well, the judges may have learned their lesson last time by giving you something almost mainstream, so they've decided to make up for that this time with, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how many people guess this and uh, to see how close you get. If you guess this, not only do you win yet another Broyhill dinette, I don't know what you're going to do with two, but he won the Broyhill dinette last time, but you also win a... Uh, actual seal to take home we've got a seal as you can see here this is the seal that you'll be bringing home and uh you know, i don't know once once again what you're going to do with these things but that's the prize but since you know we're, we're not too worried about you getting it we're also not too worried about running afoul of the Cousteau society so are you ready uh, i mean how, how could i be <laughs> <laughs> there is no way there is no way. All right. <clears throat> so well, let's do it anyway. All right. Guess the base. He's got 20 questions that are information gathering, ostensibly, and then five final guesses. So he can guess before them, but that would count as a question. If he wants to listen to the base, that counts as a question. He often puts that off for a few questions just to kind of, I don't know, tune his ears in before he uses them. But in any case, it's it's we're often running Reg guess number one, or question number one, I should say. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to start with uh, neck construction again. Uh, neck through, bolt on, set neck. Boy, he finds something that works and he just sticks with it, people. It's a bolt on. It's a bolt on. Okay. And once again, that the, it, all that question is meant to do is eliminate a bunch of stuff. Sure. Uh, and uh, but really, no help. But, but at least it eliminates. It gets rid of neck through, set necks, right. composites. It gets rid of a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, so you should be able to get this in like a couple of guesses now. Right. I, I, in fact, I'm going to make my guess right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is something that I've never seen or heard before. I don't uh, know. I have no idea that was what my you've guess. seen and heard, sir. I have no idea. That was you could have. Who guess. knows? You haven't... Well, I won't even... Hey, know. question two. Question two. What about question one? Oh yeah, question one that was, was the neck. You're right. Question, uh, question two. two will be um, number of pickups. Five. Five freaking pickups. <laughs> okay. you, you could look at it as two, but as, technically speaking, it's there are five pickups. Actually, technically speaking, oh man, I'm not sure. There might be eight. Yeah, it's either five or eight. Depending, it's either two, five, or eight, depending on how you want to look at it. I know you want. To, you'd like to look at it. <laughs> that yes, I would like to. Have, if if I could just see the headstock real quick. Um, okay. I'm tempted right. to show you the headstock just to see what you have to say about that, but but no, I won't. Yeah. Okay. Question three. Question three. And Let's he's more confused the... than when he started. Let's go with the uh, number of frets. Uh, number of frets would be, I don't have to count here. Twenty-four. Okay, okay, it's a two octave fretter. All right, it's something um, I'm honing in on this as being some kind of a modern thing. And it's got what did you say, 800 pickups? Um, <laughs> just short of a thousand pickups. Just short of a thousand pickups. Okay, it's, let's... Uh, it's two, five, or eight, depending on how you want to look at it. Let's go with, uh, let's go with control layout again. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, 
One or more volume and tones? Mm. There is one volume. There is no tone per se. Okay, so it's got a volume knob and no tone knob. No tone knob. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Okay, so this would be four? Question four. Four would be... Does it have an array of switches? It has one switch. One switch, one, one switch. Button. That's question four. 800 pickups. There were four, and that was four. Now we're right. 800 pickups, <laughs> one switch, one volume knob, no tone knob per se. A tone switch? Is that, Is that a question? Yes. No, not a tone switch. That's not a five. Tone now switch. we're on just question six. Question six. What color is away. this space? Uh, it is a uh, natural, clear stain natural. natural. I mean, just no color, just wood color. Okay. Number seven, how Number many six. strings? It is a four string bass. Four string bass with 800 pickups. <laughs> One volume control. Mm. One switch. Question eight. Oh my God. Okay. Um, do we have any clue what the body wood is? I'm not sure. Judging by the grain pattern, I would suspect ash or something along those lines, but it could be something else, you know. A lesser expensive wood that looks sort of like that, but the grain pattern's like that. But it is a sandwich construction. Okay. So there's a, diff a so there, different there's wood a, in the middle. There's a different wood in the middle of some kind that looks like a darker wood that I have no idea what it is. Okay, question nine. Man, these questions go flying by. <laughs> I can okay, I think it's time and... now to. Um, to hear it. To hear the bass, all right. Yeah, Probably to hear the wise. bass. Probably um, wise. And maybe just run it through a few different of its 800 pickup options. You don't have to even tell me which ones you're doing. Just, okay. you know, play yeah. and then switch the pickup to some other configuration. And okay, well, uh, the switch is the only thing that allows me to do any pickup switching, so you'll hear that and that'll be it. Okay. Okay. Um, comment real quick. Okay. It sounds really nice. Um, it also, the difference in the sounds was, uh, pretty drastic. Now, um, just to let the viewers know, and you, I'm playing through a, an Aguilar, Aguilar, whatever, however you pronounce that, the Tone Hammer. Uh, the, what is it, the 500, I think, uh, the, the solid state version. Uh, we're going direct from there into our digital recorder, so there's no extra preamps or anything. And I was playing with my fingers. Okay, I assumed you were playing the Aguilar because that's generally what you use on these things. We like that one. It's a, it's a really, if it's you guys have a great little amp. Yeah, they, they make really, great really stuff. Good. Everything they make is awesome. And it was, it was, uh, we did a shootout uh, on it, so be sure to, I'll put a link up above for that. Uh, we do. Um, I'm a big fan, obviously, of the DB series. Their 
they're heavy, but my God, they're they're yeah, so, so vintage yeah. sounding, and, and they take such a such a whopping. And this um, one weighs like that, nothing. <laughs> just, yeah, this that's the, the cabinet is. Um, I think it weighs two hundred and forty pounds for a two by ten, which is a lot. Um, okay. So I'm still on nine, right? No, that was nine. That was nine. Now we're on question ten. That was nine. Okay, the Halfway. next question ten is yeah. going to be these pickup configurations. Do they have any kind of like a, a split coil thing where it's a humbucker, but you can split it to single coils? No. Is that how it ends up having so many? No. No. That's, now we're on eleven. Holy. I know your pickup question you would... starting out the gate really messed with you. <laughs> Some might yeah, say there's really only did. two. Like, Some oh might say God. there's really like, only two, could but be two could be could be five, could be eight. I'll tell you this: from the switching standpoint, it's treated as two, even though there technically are at least five and maybe eight. That's big hints, really, people. Big hints. Yeah, big hints if you know what kind of a base has. <laughs> Once you know, it's like, oh yeah, you pick up that switch, makes it, it obvious. Could be five or could be eight pickups. Uh, like, so uh, what are we on? We're on twelve. 12 Did you do eleven? Did you ask eleven? No, oh, no, didn't do eleven. Still working on eleven. Thinking about eleven. Sweating over eleven. Oh no, you asked Freddy. me if you split the humbucker oh, split and all that, and that was eleven. Oh, was, was it, that eleven or was that ten? I'll tell you what. If we did eleven, I'll give you eleven again. I got bonus 11. Bonus 11, it or really... it's a regular 11, and I'm just making you feel like, you know, you should feel like it's a bonus. Like I won something. Right. Uh... <laughs> Your consolation prize. <laughs> Perhaps another question if we counted wrong. Okay. So, outputs on this base. Are they stereo? Do you have stereo outputs? I do not have stereo outputs. So it's just a single mono output. I'll, I'll still put that under question 11 and say, yes, it's a single mono output. At least I don't think you can okay. do stereo with it. If you if you can, we're not, but I don't think you can. I don't know. I don't think so. No. Nah. Mono. It's gotta be mono. Gotta be mono. 24 frets. Um. Two, five, or eight pickups. <laughs> yeah. But the switch only goes between two different modes. And yeah. they sound different. Okay, question number 12. There's no other way to adjust the sound of the pickups other than the one switch that has two positions. Uh, could you rephrase the question? Okay, is there any other way to sculpts the tone of the bass other than the two-way pickup switch oh yes in fact i'll just tell you because you know i feel like a hint won't hurt uh, buttons it has buttons <laughs> zippers and velcro no it you it has uh active eq active eq it has active eq so that's 12. all right so we're on to question 13. What do you know? You know it's uh, natural. You know it's 24 frets. You know it's a mono output. You know the pickups are murky. <laughs> in, in configuration. Hey, I know it's got Active bolt on EQ, neck. A volume knob, bolt on neck, a and a two position sandwich switch. Sandwich body with and probably a sandwich some body kind of with probably ash. Walnut or something in ash on the outside. Could be walnut. Could be a walnut. Could be a babinga. Could be walnut. I want some darker wood. So. So we're on to question number 13. Dark. Very exciting. 13. 13. 13. Here we come. 13. Holy Jiminy Crickets. And that's what we're hearing right now. And I've already, we've already established that it's a four string bass. That yes, that's true. We have established it's a four string bass. Okay. Are the tuning keys all on one side or is it split half and half? Uh, it's split half and half. That's an interesting question. Okay, so it's a two and two. So it's 13. So okay. 14. Well, I'm, I'm fishing now because I really don't have a, a clue. Okay. 
clue. I have a feeling I'm just gonna make it. I'm gonna make a prediction right now that end of this game I'm gonna be one for four. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that out there now. And I'm trying, and I'm trying to think of smarter questions to kind of narrow this down. Uh, it is not narrowing it down, but uh, let, let me throw this out there. Is it a boutique brand? Could you define boutique, sir? A uh, small maker, uh, relatively obscure, obscure. I would say yes, according to that criteria. I mean, not completely obscure, like, you know, Fred's, you know, garage or something, but, you know. And right. I'm sorry if there's a Fred's garage out there making bases. I apologize for infringement there. I, I don't know, but I'm just trying to, you know. Help him out here. So that's 14. You're on to the big... Well, it, I don't think they're going to be that upset because it's Fred's Boutique Garage. Right, right. So My bad. Yeah. It's, it's gonna, it'll be fine. And they're really nice people, by the way. Very, very nice people. Very small operation. It's just Fred. And he's like um, four foot six, so it really is a short operation. It really is. It's, it's not much. But man, are they nice. He puts out about two a year. Um... Uh, what do we have to 15? 15, the big one five. 75% of the way. Booy. Uh, jeepers. You really? can do it. You really think so? You really think I can get this? You know, if you ask the right questions, you absolutely could. But if you don't ask the right questions, there's not a chance in hell. Right. I mean, like when I get down to guessing what it is, if that's the right question, that would be a humdinger. I'm looking forward to that. That's where I'm going to laugh a lot, so. Right. Well, I'm, I'm not even going to know what to, what to guess, because um, it's a... Well, that's why you got five more questions, so you can... Less... Less well-known... Okay, let me ask this question. Is this a base that has been in the studio... Last time I was in the studio. No, it, it is not. You have not seen this okay, So it's another new acquisition. Yes. 16. Okay. Does that mean we're going on 17? No, this is going to be 16. This is Look going at to that. It feels 16. like a bonus question again. Again. <laughs> you won something. <laughs> Okay. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was going to follow up with something. Is this another model of a Kubiki? It is not another. Okay. I don't even know. Do they do another model? They probably do, but no, it is not. No, it is not. Maybe they don't. Maybe See, I don't, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There I don't know. Sixteen. <laughs> You gotta wear a shirt when you come on guess the base. I don't Shooting know. Shooting up in the air. Wait, wait, wait. 17. Okay, this will 17, be 17. 17. 17. All right, 24 frets. Two and two on the headstock. Two, five, or eight pickups. That's the real thing that's got me just. I can see where that would be Fine. the crux of the matter. It is the crux of the matter. It's, um,. Some kind of crazy business going on there. I mean, is it three band active EQ? Uh, it is, in fact. Uh, let's see. Three um, band. Okay. And see, yeah. that's not uh, well, that yeah, not really. Technically, it's uh, it's kind. Of, you technically no, it's two band with a parametric or semi parametric mid. So technically speaking, it's it's that, but it's not the whole story. So, but I would mislead you if I told you it was a three-band EQ because technically it's not. Okay, so it has a sweepable mid knob. Yes. Okay. I won't count that as a question. You're on uh, question eighteen. Or are you on nineteen? Once again, we're going to give you a. <laughs> I think, this, I think this is still 18 because yeah, that was 17 was with yeah. the, the EQ. Um, 
Okay. All right. Okay. And I already established that it's a natural wood color. Yep. A small boutique maker. Does it have any pick guard or any any sort of embellishment on the body other than the knobs and switches? The only thing on the instrument, on the face of the instrument, are the knobs, the switch, and the bridge, of course. Question. And the eight pick. And the, and the. This is gonna. I, I think know. I, described um, it, I, mean, I think I described myself it in advance. I, I described it. Or accurately. I'm gonna go. Well, how was I supposed to guess that? Well, I'm just telling um, you, I did describe it accurately. 19. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Well, okay, so it's important that that gets, that point gets made. 19. 19, A19. Mm -hmm. Where to go? What to even consider at this point? Jeepers, creepers. What? I wonder if there's anybody out there listening that knows it by now. It'd be interesting to find out. You know out. what? There probably are a multitude of people who have already figured it out many questions ago and are just looking at me as the biggest doof that they've ever seen on the YouTube. And they're right. Um, but I will say again, it is a lot easier to do watching it than it is to be actually on the spot with a broyhill and a penguin at and stake. A, a seal, not a penguin. I would rather, can we switch that for a penguin? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Let me check. Johnny, can we switch that seal to a penguin? And he says, no, I'm sorry. We already paid oh, for the seal. See, okay. All right, so that lessens the uh, <laughs> little, a little tiny bit. Seal's my really, really to house at home. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd rather, much rather have a penguin. Yeah. Um, maybe some other time. Right. Well, you know, if you win this one, we won't have the seal anymore, and we'll have to come up with something else. So you got a good shot. When we do guess that Kool Aid flavor, that'll be the one. I can't wait to see what you what you got for your last two here. And then, of course, okay, you get your 18, five guesses, so you know you're you're still narrowing. Let's play it again, okay? Play it again, and this That's time that's gonna be nineteen. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to be nineteen. <clears throat> Just play it again. Uh, uh, fin finger style, just finger style, just whatever. Just play whatever. Uh, choose whatever pickup combination you want, but kind of, kind of mess around a little bit with that parametric EQ. Oh, okay, you got it. Sure, certainly. Uh, hang on. Nineteen. That would be nineteen, sir. Okay. Number twenty. I'm going to take a brand stab. I'm just going to stab out at the brand. Of course, I wouldn't know any of their models, so it. So this would be if if I get the brand, I would get it at twenty because that's as far as I'm going to be able to get. But is it in any sort of alembic? It is not an alembic. Okay. All right. And if you get the brand, I'll give it to you. Well, I have a feeling I've never heard of the brand. So I get, that would, that's I, I'm great. betting you have, but I don't know, but I'm betting that you have. Okay, uh, so this now, is on, now, on, now we're into guess land. So this is where I got to actually guess the, yeah, I don't have the more, actual, yeah, the more yeah. No, nope. feeling it out. Your fishing days are done. It's count your fish at this point and see what you got. 
Is it any type of specter base? It is not a specter base. Question 22. Is it any kind of Warwick base? It is not. Question 23. See, now I'm running, I'm really running low. Um, and I wouldn't just for the any record, consider of, those to be necessarily boutique. They're pretty. Uh, yeah, no, but they're smaller than the, the big I, guys, okay. right? I, I'm, <clears> that's <throat> what I'm saying. I'm stabbing in the dark. How right. about Pedula? Is it Pedula? I always pronounce that Padula. I never knew how to pronounce it. Padula. Let's yeah. go Padula. Wow, that is an amazing guess that is wrong. But it was a good guess. You got two left. The there you go. Put the seal away, Johnny. Looks like we got to hang on to that thing. Yeah, hang on to that seal. What are we down to now, 24? 24. Holy smokes. All right, this is where they se where we separate the, the true base experts with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah. um, oh my goodness can you just give up can I just give up <laughs> that's not a, <laughs> just, a Johnny just can he just no, no I'm afraid not but you can pack up the broil looks like we're hanging out of that too yeah well is it matching the one that I've already won it's a different color oh okay well but same style though same right? exact style we actually we got a deal we bought too all right all right. Cheap. Now, you know what would help me greatly is um, if I could just get on the internet real quick. Um, <laughs> what would you, just out of curiosity, what would you put in as your search criteria in the internet? In the internet. Uh, in well, the, I would start with bass team. guitars. Okay. Uh, and then I would. Um, Look for a seller that uh, that has a, a good selection. I see. So you just look through a, 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 an inventory of trying to find something exotic or off mm. off the beaten path. Ooh, man! But there's a lot of those out there. That would take a long time. So yeah, no, but then I could pick <clears throat> random stabs. You know, just we've checked with the uh, uh, with the judges and with Johnny, and there's a big fat no. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm worth kind a of shot. That anyway. Yeah, worth a shot. Um, Question 24. It is a, is it a Moog base? I didn't know there were the Moog bases. They did. They, well, they, they made, made Moog guitars a few years back. So no was, kidding. Interesting. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. But that yeah. would be a I don't cool think they made a Moog to, base, but that you would know, have been throwing a, one out there. If so I 25, this is it. This is, this is the, uh, this is it. This is the one that loses the game right here. <laughs> Um, or, or or has an amazing comeback. Oh, wouldn't that that would be amazing though? I would be amazed. Yeah, we don't. I would, be, I would wouldn't. like, I would literally jump up and down. Well, the I'd, seal would be just. I wouldn't away. jump up and down, but I would uh, inside. I would be jumping up. Right, and down, sure. Right? Yeah, the um, seal wouldn't jump up and down either. Just no, down. the seal is the seal alive. Let's it be is. It's a, it's a live seal. Okay, all right. Um. Wait, you mean alive now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, yeah. it's it would be a pet. Okay. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. Man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it's this. We're still talking about two two tuning gears on each side of the headstock yeah yep that's the main thing i would take away from all the questions that you've you've had is yeah that, that's that's that would be the real tell right there i don't honestly think that's going to help you too much no but i'm just, I'm just like trying i'm thinking oh no couldn't be that couldn't be that right sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um mtd mtd is that a brand? That's a brand, yep. Wow, I'm unfamiliar with MTD, but it is not, <clears throat> unsurprisingly, not an MTD. MTD. Okay, let's do the reveal. I've lost. <laughs> All right, let me turn on the uh, the old camera rooski here. Uh, 
I, I'm guessing this this is not going to make me. I'm not going to get kicked in the pants. I'm probably going to see this and go. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that possibly could be. Yeah, that's not even a bass. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> All right, that's a ukulele. It's a ukulele. Well, I'm going to show it to you, and you still might not know from me showing it to you. That will be a tell. Let's see if you can tell me what it is. I have... Is it a some kind of weird Ibanez? It is not some kind of weird Ibanez. Because the headstock is sort of Ibanez. Very ibanez -esque. Yeah, but the rest of it is not ibanez -y. Not ibanez um, which, of course, is a, an adjective or an adverb. Yes. Uh, cool no, shape I though. I like the shape tremendously. I think it's, it's an interesting cool looking. Shape. It's interesting looking. Yeah. Now, what's the most interesting looking part of it? Um, I mean, the most interesting part of it is that you can't see any pickups. You can't see any pickups, and that's why I said when I described what was on the face very clearly, you could have the the knobs, a switch, and the bridge. And you said right. and the pickups, and I I was like, well, I described it accurately, because this is a light wave base things that uses light basically leds to analyze the vibrations of the base and then transforms it through a bunch of circuitry into a signal that comes out a regular quarter inch jack but you have to power it so th there are four pickups here each one's individual although you could think of it as one it's each piece of this is actually completely individual so there are four different base sections i mean base uh, bridge sections each one having a, a, a light and that goes underneath the string to analyze it, kind of like uh, your watch does if you have one of those active watches. And then there's also piezo or piezo pickups inside each one. So that would be the either two or the, if you considered the piezo as one and this is four, that would be the five. Or if you looked at them individually because they really are, I believe the piezo is four of them put together as well and that would be your eight. And then, well, I mean, so uh, it all makes perfect sense to me now, and I have heard of Lightwave. Right. Lightwave, I, I forget what the model is, a Sabre, or, no, that's something else. The Lightwave, I'm not going to remember, I'll put it up on the screen, uh, what model it is, but uh, volume, and these are my own knobs that came with bigger knobs, volume, bass, cut and boost, uh, mid-range cut and boost, and then the, uh, e the uh, frequency, the center frequency for that, and then... This is a blend between the light pickup and the piezo pickup. And then the switch turns the piezo, activates it at all. So that's, it doesn't, it has the effect of giving you treble because it's that sort of a pickup that's got the brightness, but it's not actually a tone or a treble control. So the EQ is technically a two band. I knew there would be some da some dancing around the questions with this one. There, there's. A, I will say it sounds it sounds really good in both both configurations. It sounds really, it's a good sounding bass. Uh, it's a cool looking bass. I like the look of it. And uh, and no, I could, you could have given me fifty questions and I would never have got there. And it's uh, particularly good for slapping. Because you don't stomp on any pickups you're not banging it into any mm -hmm. pole pieces and it's real accurate as far as getting its tone and stuff the neck is super comfortable it's inexpensive relatively speaking it can be under a thousand bucks it's not it's not that expensive for what it is and how good it sounds um, and they make a higher end version of it this is one of the lower end versions i don't even know if this particular version is made anymore i'm not sure what their current product line consists of but we will put links down there uh, the they were kind enough to help us out when we needed a power supply situation we couldn't find one for this so they were kind enough to help us out with that so we thank the folks at lightwave they were very nice and, and quick to help and uh i like the base i really do like it's the cool base. looking yeah it's comfortable with a strap it's comfortable sitting down um it's got this cool notch at the bottom which is kind of cool cut out it's it's very almost tobias shape i guess or something kind of an ibanez tobias sort of a thing, but it's got a little kubiki in there. It's got a little bit of everything. It's kind of a cool thing. It's got a nice uh, belly cut there and uh, smooth neck and yeah. And I, as I said, I, I would be tempted to show you the headstock because I didn't think it was going to help you all that much. You know, the headstock shape doesn't really tell you a, a whole lot in this case. Uh -huh. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. He's one for four. It would, did you get it at home? 
No, you, no, you didn't. No, nobody did. It, if somebody got this, put it in the comments, and we'll see if we if we buy it or not. But uh, the Lightwave base system, check it out. Uh, as I said, I'll put links below. And uh, and Reg, let's hope next time uh, on Guess the Base, it's uh, something that you're more familiar with. I mean, it would be nice if you just did a. Just, just did a P base, just a fretless P base, something like that. Fretless, yeah. You know, there you go. Oh, yeah. oh, let me let me stretch this out a little bit. Um, yeah. Were but, you familiar with Lightwave? Have you heard of Lightwave? Before? I have heard of them, yes, so but I don't. Something. I know nothing about them really. Yeah. Uh, and I thought Lightwave was just a uh, name. I didn't know that they had laser beams in them for the light. <laughs> so. Yeah, I believe it's LEDs, and uh, they they analyze. It's got a very nice bridge system. How you adjust the height and stuff. It's actually, it's actually a very cool little setup, and uh, very accurate as far as. And they've been stuff. around for a while too. That's not a new company. It's not new at all. They've no, been they've around been around for a while. Yeah, they have, and uh, you do it as I said. You do have to power it up. There's actually a, a jack down here that you power it up with with an AC adapter, and uh, plugs into the wall for you know six eight hours, and then you're good to go, and. Uh, there you go, the light wave. If you guessed it, congratulations. If you didn't, don't feel bad. Most people probably didn't. I didn't even guess it, and I knew what it was. So That's saying something. <laughs> it's saying something. Uh, we keep the bra hill and the seal for now, but Reg will come back again and, and try again with something else, and uh, you know, we'll see what we can come up with that's interesting to show off and, and let him guess around on. So uh, for Reg, I'm Jet. Thanks for coming to Gear and Gigs. You guys take care. We'll see you next time.